Yeah, I thought it was great. I thought our first half was really good. Uh, I did. Uh, I did exactly what we we wanted to do. Although we just our start the second half, we let them back in the game it was a bit disappointing. But um, the scramble at the end and um, the efforts by some certain individuals to save tries. I think we had three in there at the end and from some of our young blokes too. I thought, uh, no, just really happy. Good to get a win. And, they deserve it because they've been terrific all week. The players have been really good. Just to have you made anyone in particular really impressive? Uh, I thought Cordner could knock out 80 minutes and handle T Rex the way he did and a few of his catches under pressure. Jack White, you know, he's a tough, tough, tough kid. Um, Jackson, all them young blokes that we picked, I thought they were outstanding. And, uh, you know, so we had a real good mix, and, and you know, Nick and Willie and uh, Abe Tom. Uh, I didn't, we didn't have a bad player. You know, Josh McCrone, I thought, did a, did a really good job too. So, I thought everyone there did um, did themselves no harm in um, furthering their rep careers. Anyway. There was a lot of tension before the game with James Malone. Sixty-five grabs. How do you think he went? Yeah, I thought he went well. You know, I thought, you know, particularly in the first half, he controlled things pretty well. He's pushing up around the rock and taking the line on. Um, the second half was hard. You know, we didn't have the ball for 10 minutes after half time, but he came up with a great drop try saving tackle too. So, um, you know, I thought he was, he was really good. And then through the week, he's good too. He's got the right personality to handle big games. Um, no, he was great. What, what do you think after the first two quick tries, the second half? Do you think you're in the long run? No, I knew we had the team to, to do with that. had a really good preparation. We probably just went away from it. You know what we'd spoken about, but let them week, these sort of weeks that that, that can happen. Um, you know, everyone's a lot of fresh faces together, and uh, you know, a lot of young guys. And sometimes it uh, you know, just you don't have that continuity. And, and you know, City come out and jumped us. But the most pleasing thing for me was the way we responded to that. As, as you said, they put on two quick tries, and they had all the momentum, and they really could have um, continued that. But we, uh, you know, we found a way. We found a way to get ourselves back in the game. And, Turn it in, back into the arm wrestle that we wanted it to be. And through that, we uh, we come up with the points. Guys, uh, having um, really around the camp all week and the way play today, particularly the first half, do you think you know you could slip back to Origin? Right? Say again, sorry, I couldn't. Really, really, really. Mace, yeah, yeah, no, he can handle it. Easy. Just having around the camp all week and really good to see. Yeah, and, and not it's not it wasn't a token for him either. He was in there because he's a good player, not just what he does off the field. So yeah, he he can handle it. You know, he'd, he'd give you. Give you a big 15 minutes, and now he's played 20 tests and 20 origins. Um, he was he was terrific. I thought Ryan Hoffman on the other side was, was good. He's a good player. And, um, uh, Mickey Jennings was dangerous for him too. Now I thought it was a good game. I think Laurie will get a few things out of it. As a as a constant trend, like Mickey Willie, you're going for 33 year old guy with a lot of experience. We can pick someone. At this point, well, we're going to win this year, so I'd be picking the team, no matter whether they're 33 or 18, you pick the team that's going to be, that can be points. If that's Willie, if that's someone else, if that's Jack White or whoever, you just pick them because we just got to, we just got to pick the best we can. So. Is Willie playing well? Right? Yeah, I think so. I, I think he is. Yeah. He wouldn't let you down. He wouldn't let you down. Yeah, there's, heaps, there's, there's a lot of other people around. So, you're up in the middle of the rugby, who's coming through with you? Who really pressed you in this like It was hard to put down, it was hard to look out, what we're going to do. Yeah, look, I think, uh, you know, Willie handles those big games really well. You know, I've been in camp with him a few times now, and um, the energy and the, the professionalism that he brings around. Um, you know, a lot of the people in the media don't see that side to him. Uh, I think he, he was terrific for me all week, uh, my first shot at captain. and. Um, yeah, you know, I thought Aiden Tolman was exceptional. I think, you know, I think Aiden he's the type of player that would handle Origin. He he never lets you down. He he always prepared to do the tough runs, and uh, yeah, he'll he's always the first voice I hear. You know, when when we're coming off our line and times are tough, so he's not far away. That's for sure. Yeah, I thought he, he kicked well. You know, and he took the line on a few times. He's he's a clever player. Good player. I thought our halves were really good too. You know, Maloney and McCrone um, were really good. Mickey.
tricky uh, with school. So, but I'll just. It's it's still got a lot of merit in the game. Like it's annoying when I hear that it's a waste of time because you go and ask, go in there and ask McKinnons and Jacksons and Cordners and, and White as if it was a waste of time. They're they're um, thrilled to be here, and what it'll do it's a it's a springboard into their recruits, you know. And I hope this is just a start, and they'll go home better players. And that's not because of me, but it's because of being around your McKinnons, your Willie Masons, and it gives them a head start with their career. And, um, I think we still need to play, though. It's, it's good. Um, yeah, well, we, we can't control that, you know, and a lot of them were probably injured, so um, we didn't have any blokes pulled out of the countryside. It means a lot to our players, and, and they played accordingly today, so you know, it's really good. Did you find it surprising that the blokes that pulled out were all blokes that almost were quarantined for the state of origin? It's funny how they all got injured. Yeah, it might have been a coincidence. All in all, you're happy with the, uh, the, whole, the whole experience of leaving Cross Harbour and the match itself? Yeah, no, yeah. I, I voted Bradley. I've learned a lot myself. You know, I learned a lot. My first um, appointment as a head coach, and I've, I've had a trip with it. And, um, that's only because of the players I have. Uh, uh, Brad. Trent, the one thing that's going to give the knock is more ammo because of the crowd. Yep. So it's four and a half hours in the past. Quite surprising. Like, and you've been good media wise, all the players have been put up. Might have been down the beach enjoying something. <laughs> I'm not sure, I didn't worry me. I'm just glad we won. But um, to get four and a half thousand here, we thought there probably could have been a few more, but it's not my department, I'm not in the marketing department, we won the game. And that's the only thing that matters. Yeah, we asked Freddie about Adam Reynolds and Mitchell Pierce possibly playing halves and the Blues. Is there merit in that or is it too much to ask? Uh, yeah, I think I think Adam Reynolds is a is a halfback and so is Mitchell so I don't think we have both of them in the side, but that's not my call. But um, I think you know, if we need we need, to, we need a five A, and we need some blokes who are going to run the We need blokes pushing up around the ball. Origin's all about attitude and pushing up on your tide and executing under fatigue. And we need players with a tough run. Whether you? that's Mitchell Pearce or Adam Reynolds, or whether that's up to Laurie and selectors, but um, wait till. Did you say Timmy Maloney's got the edge on Carney at the moment? Well, Carney's not playing, so I think it was a bonus that, that Maloney uh, played, and he played well. You know, he wouldn't have been. Sweet. Thanks, Thanks boys. Thank you. Thanks, Trent. Yeah, mate. Yep. Who is it? Uh, it's Dan Gow. You always have to ask.